Baby, I ain't got time for that. I want to see all my girlies win. Okay, because guess what? There is room at the top for all of us. And that's what type of, what type of mindset you should have as a woman. next day it is officially saturday yo i did not go to sleep until like two o'clock in the morning didn't finish my drink i was just uh, 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 uh. but i was gonna wear my hair so not in here i was gonna wear my hair like bushy because you know it's pretty i said this hair was all right but like you know i washed it and the texture is okay like it, you know it's pretty cool for the price point but as i was saying I didn't turn up last night, y'all. Maybe tonight I'll turn up. Rara will be home with me. My baby, I missed her so much. I'm not going to lie, y'all. I missed my child. Like, when I woke up and she wasn't laying right next to me, I'm like, yeah. I cannot be away from her for more than, I say two days, two to three days. I can't be away from my baby for more than that. Right now, my life. You know, maybe when she get older and I'm traveling more without her, it'll be a little bit easier. But as far as right now, mm-mm. Uh -uh. How are you doing? How are you feeling? Really, tell me how are you feeling? I didn't express to y'all how I felt. So let me know how are y'all feeling down below in the in the comment section. I know this time of the year can be exciting and the best time of the year for some. But also for some, I'm trying to figure out. Y'all been straight and weaving so long. Also for some, it can be the most depressing time of the year. So what time of the year is this for you? Do you have any New Year's plans yet? I really want to do something for New Year's. I'm going to start looking up stuff tonight, actually. Because we have a babysitter. And me and Ruben haven't done nothing for the last past two New Year's. But I want to do some spontaneous stuff, you know? I want to shake my... It's like I'm a stripper. It's been a while. The goal was to go out to brunch today. That didn't happen. So me and Rara might just wake up tomorrow and go to brunch, y'all. Who that's hot. But yes, I had my little hookah last night. The hookah was hit and it was okay. It was good. Of course, like going to the New Year's, you know, I have goals for my YouTube channel. I'm, you know, want to grow and just want to help touch as many people's lives as I can. Um, So let me know what kind of content you want to see from me. I want to start including spirituality on my channel because that has been just a huge part of my life in general forever. But it has definitely been a huge part of my life recently. Just me trying to heal my inner child. Me trying to grow as a wife, as a mother, and as just me. Me trying to let go of baggage so I can elevate and just reach new levels in my mental space, and my emotional space, and my relationships. Um, and now I have a daughter, guys. Like, it's real. And I want her to grow up in a healthy emotional environment. I didn't grow up in a healthy emotional environment. You know, my parents' marriage was, wasn't the best. Um, and I know a lot of us grew up like that. But I'm, listen, I want to break that generational curse. I'm going to break that generational curse in my family. Because on my mom's side, um, not a lot of the women are married. It's like a lot of divorce on my mom's side of the family. And I want to break that. However, it is difficult. I ain't going to lie to you about that part. Um, it is difficult to try to break generational curses. But I, I believe that's what God put me on this planet to do. I could be wrong. But I just believe that. When I was young, my mom always used to tell me, Tisha, you're chosen. She used to always say that. She's always be like, you can't hang with certain people. You can't do whatever you're chosen. I never understood that. But hey, she could have been wrong the whole time. Or she could have been right. You know? Oh, I really wish I would have started my YouTube channel in college. Oh my goodness, it would have been so lit. But to be honest, I don't know how lit it would have been. Because y'all didn't have like a lot of female friends. Like a DSU. 
it was like it was a lot of city johns and me and city johns we just don't really get along like that let me stop i'm just joking but i just don't i never really had a lot of city friends because if you know and i know i'm not stereotyping every person from the city that's not what i'm doing but some city people can just be full of themselves and walk around like they don't stink and you know you can agree you can disagree that's fine um, but that's that's just what I have witnessed and what I have seen, and it seems like people down like down south have you know more humble, have more hospitality, and everything of that nature. I was cordial with some city females, you know, just in class cheating off each other, trying to make it, just to be real. But I never really hung out with no city females. But to be honest, y'all, like even from my hometown, I be seeing people link up from my hometown stuff of that nature i just be like dang like i ain't never get no invite or i never felt included and i'm just like tisha is it you like like were, were you the one not reaching out because you know i have my two friends and that's all i really needed and i was i'm type of female i've always been cool with more guys than, than girls because i just been comfortable more comfortable around guys because that's what i grew up around i'm the only girl and females can be fake and just full of drama and just envious. And you know, they can females can be something else. It's hard to make female friends. I, and I don't know why it's women are like that. But you know, I feel like it's jealousy. It's the mindset of it's not enough to go around. Or you know, everybody want to be in competition. And baby, I ain't got time for that. I want to see all my girlies win. Okay, because guess what? There is room at the top for all of us. And that's what type of, what type of mindset you should have as a woman. You no, know, especially a minority woman. You know, I don't know why we just... That's a whole nother video. If y'all want a video about that girl talk, because I just got some things to express. And like I said, these are just my opinions. They're not facts. They're, they are teacher Rosell opinions. But I just feel like us women, minority women, we got to do better. Like, why out of all races, we're the ones <laughs> that don't support each other enough. Or like we should be. We're the ones that, you know, always envy each other or always hating or always gossiping. And, and I'm not saying other races don't do it, but they have a tendency of sticking together better than what we do. Let's be real. Like I said, y'all y'all heard in my last vlog, you know, I keep I, I keep surreal. I just don't get it. <laughs> like we really got that crabs in the in the barrel syndrome. You know? Like Girl, I love to see women, black women especially. I love to see women win in general. But it's nothing like seeing a black woman doing her thing or a woman of minority. Because, you know, we have more struggles than other races. Let's be real. We have more struggles. We have more racism. We have more um, inequality. Inequality. We have more challenges. It's just a lot. So, you know, in a perfect world that I would like to see, I would love to see black women, minority women supporting each other more. Um, I would like to see more love in our community, more acceptance, not so much competition. <laughs> like, come on now. The fuck? This is, uh. You know, and like I always say, yo, I don't have any sisters. So it was just like all my love from females came, you know, from the outside. Like, I don't, I, I'm not cool with my female. I'm not close. I'm not saying I'm not close to my female cousins and um, even my nieces. Like, you know, they're, they're close in age, but I'm not, you know, my one nieces, they live in D.C. and the other family. It's just not how it's supposed to be. And, and I love my family with all my heart. Of course, I just wish things were different, you know, but it's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing you can do. Just keep on being you and God going to send the right people in your life. I keep telling myself that like Tisha and of course, like now I'm a mommy. So I want mommy friends. <laughs> it's like now I'm a different Tisha, whether I want to accept it or not. Once you have a mother, I'm, I mean, once you have a child, and you're a mother. I'm sorry. Like. You really become a different woman. Well, my experience. I can only speak from my experience, mamas. If you feel otherwise, comment down below and let me know. Do you feel the same after you had your child? You know? Because I feel like everybody is at a different emotional place in their life. Um, everybody is just at different chapters in their life when they have children. But me at this chapter, baby, I'm a different woman. It's hard. It's just so much jealousy and envy. And, like, you know, like, when, when you're a pretty girl... 
and which I think I think is beauty in every but I think every creation that God made is beautiful. So I'm talking to you. <laughs> when you're a beautiful person and you have a beautiful soul, people don't like that. Oh my gosh, people can't stand that you have a beautiful soul. And I done been through so much in my life, which I'm sure you have too. I've been through so much loss and grief and pain and heartache and heartbreak and deception. It's just I done been through so much and still my heart is so pure and I still want to help people. I still want to love people. I still want to help heal people, even though I'm trying to help heal myself. And you know, people can't stand when you have a good heart. Cause me and Rosalind, we're gonna take some pictures today. Cause I, I ordered some matching onesies. Yes, I did, girl. For me and Rosalind, cause it's this site called Mommy Onesies, I believe. I'm gonna link it down below so you guys can go get your matching onesies with y'all kids too. Cause like I'm, I was looking for websites and stuff like that, but this website, it seemed like every time I wanted something, it was um sold out. Ruben is in Georgia. I hope he's having a good time. It's like an NCCU championship they're having in, in the NFL stadium. It's a big thing, and he's so excited. And he went with his friend Rock, and I'm so happy because he been wanting, he been needing guy time. Ruben, he he's been he has been needing guy time, so I'm so thankful that he was able to go. And I hope they're having a ball. But I miss my man. I can't wait till he get home. He been gone for what, almost a month, y'all. I seriously don't know how long I can keep doing this. Him leaving for. A month at a time and like to some of y'all it might that might be oh that's not a lot you know if you're in a long distance relationship or whatever but honey it's a lot for me like i said i don't you know ruben is basically like it's really me and him against the world i'm close to my dad and you know I, i'm close to my aunt and stuff like that but as far as like any anybody else i'm not really close with nobody else so and my you know here she lives far away i don't have a lot of friends my goal for next year is to pick up my business again, get it rolling, you know, get it growing. Now, even talking about it is making me want to cry, y'all. I'm so sad about my business and how I just let it go. Oh, my gosh, I let it go. And I just told myself, oh, Tisha, you're not going to let it go, you know. Start off strong. and It's okay to take breaks from it, but just... I had so much passion behind my business, but to be honest, I had started working on my business while my mom was sick. And I remember, like, you know, going over her house and being with her, um, and me working on my business, doing research on my business, keeping myself busy, was the only was like one of the only things that kept me sane and working out. If I wasn't working out when my mom was sick and going through, you know, dying slowly from cancer, uh, I don't know if I would have made it, y'all. The gym was really my my um. Mom's safe haven. The gym was really my safe haven. Like my mom was sick, I was going every day. I would have to try to walk. I would have to try to find people to come watch her and sit with her while I go work out. Cause like we didn't want to leave her by herself just in case something happened to her. I woke up this morning. I looked outside my window. With children lighting up the Christmas tree And the snow is falling It reminds me of the good times Those winters we would spend just you and me It's been such a long time But tomorrow's Christmas Day And I am on my way I'm coming home for Christmas Yes, I'm coming Can't wait to hold you We'll be sitting by the fire And watch our favorite movies on TV uh, maybe it, it We can be do washed. what we like want to do It's good Um, yeah, so it's looking pretty Pretty, you know, pretty sleek Got my hair really, really straight Um, next time I straighten my hair I'm probably going to do one pass 
And next time I straighten my hair, y'all, for real, for real, it'll probably be for New Year's. Because I don't like putting, putting a lot of heat on my hair. But it looks really, really good. I feel like my hair is blending more with the hair. Let me know. Is it blending more? So, I'm going to do my makeup. Just because, at first I was like, eh, I'm hungry. Let me head out. But I'm going to do my makeup. Because my hair is fresh. And why not? I'll show you, let me show y'all the back. Uh, Alright, so this is the back. You know, let me see how. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty good. Um, it could be like a little bit more straight, but honey, this is this is as straight as you gonna get right now. I gotta figure out how to wrap my hair at night when it's straight. Oil. Now, this is gonna be a quick beat. I ain't going nowhere special. I just want to do my makeup. Like I said, I'm going to come home. Get rising in her onesie. Kiss under the stars. It's going to be like we never were apart. Yes, I'm on my way. This time I'm here to stay. I'm coming home for Christmas. Yes, I'm coming home to you. Hey girl, this is the final look, a natural little beat. These eyelashes are so cute. They're from Amazon. I'm going to create an Amazon storefront that I'll be putting y'all on, mamas. So yes, this is the hair. This is the makeup. I feel cute. I feel cute or whatever. This is the outfit. I'm going to put on my brown boots. And yeah, I'm trying to figure out if I want to go out to eat with Rara or come back home and eat my leftovers and just go out tomorrow for brunch. I was going to go out to eat, but time... It took me longer than what I expected. It's about 3.30. No, it's about 3.40 right now. Just wanted to tune in to show y'all my makeup. If y'all want a new updated makeup routine, because I do things a little different now. Like, I don't put so much emphasis on my eyebrows. I like the more natural looking um, and foundation and things of that nature. So, let me know if you guys want a new updated makeup routine. Everyday makeup. And we're out. Girl, girl, guess where your favorite is at? You know how to come give me a Starbucks drink, baby. Having rides in 24-7 by myself has not been easy, baby. But my dad said that he'll watch her, him and Miss Angie next week. So, yeah, this hair came out pretty good, though. It came out pretty good. Can't stop looking at myself. You gotta become obsessed with yourself, baby. I gotta get cute more often. Ah. Thank you. You're welcome. Alright, so I'm about to try to drink. I gotta take a picture of it. This shit's disgusting and I'm pissed. Now granted, I did just have that sweet muffin, so... I got my bonnet on because I'm going to give her a bath and she likes to splash and stuff. And honey, all this hard work we did, she would not get no water on my hair tonight. Plus, I got to get cute to get, take some pictures with her. I'm about to unbox the mom onesie so you guys can see it to see if it's worth it, the material and all of that. So this is the package it came in. Momsies. Momsies and me. That's, that's what the company is called. I only ordered one. Like I said, y'all, I ordered like two onesies for me and her and two bonnets. I think it was like $87. And originally, I ordered gray bonnets for me and her. But they ran out. She texted me saying that they ran out. So I was pissed about that. But here's the onesie. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm about to give her a bath. And put her onesie on. Okay, here's mommy's. Okay, yeah. I'm happy because... Okay, so I got a large... I was gonna get an extra large, but I'm like, these are close to fit. Let me see how much stretch. Oh, they have good stretch too. And um, the material is good. 
But the material out of the 10, I give about a seven. Six and a half, seven. So you know it's it's good. This might be too big for Rosalind though. This might be too big for her. I don't know though. We're gonna try it on. This is a hey girl. This is a onesie. I'm going to show it to you. I got formed on my hands. I'm gonna show it to you. Um, after I'm done taking a shot, and Rosalind's onesie was a little bit wide, big, but long, like lengthwise, it was perfect. But you know, shot o'clock. You can see my lash hanging. I'm sorry, girl. I gotta fix it. Ah, tink. Happy Saturday. Mm. Happy Saturday. Honey, sometimes you gotta learn how to party by yourself. Okay? Ain't nothing wrong with it. I do it all the time. Hey. I got this much left. Y'all yeah, see? Like, it's like right there. I believe this is a double shot, baby. Bear with me. This is a double. Ross, are you ready to take some pictures? I Yo, I still ain't finished. I got this much left. Okay. Back up enough so you can see. All right. Can y'all see? I'm in the foot. Okay. Go back. All right. I'm going to zoom in. But this is how it's fitting. Now, granted, when I put it on, I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, it's too tight. It's too small. But this is how it's fitting. And it's, like, really, really good material. Let me see if I can twerk in it. Is my booty moving? Okay, yeah, it's moving. It's moving. So, you know, definitely twerk proof. Um, and yeah, like my belly, it's like in my belly a little bit. And, you know, the tatas. The tatas. And let me show y'all rah rahs. Uh oh. Anyway, here are me and Rosalind's onesies. Let me put her in the front. Hold on, baby. Okay, so. This is Mama's onesies. Did you poop? -poo? This is Mama's onesies. I be so cute. Twinsies. Terrifying. Yeah, Mama, you like your onesies? See, that's what I'm saying. Hers is like a little big. You can see by her foot. And then when I put her up, um, but it's still cute. Like I said, she should be able to wear it for a couple of times. It has little cuffs. You can cuff over their hands, and then it has a little cuff for their feet. So I can, oh, okay, that's lit. So I can make it into, you know, her feet not being out. That's cute, and her feet out. Okay, mamas, you say hi. You say hi. Say hi, Rajan. Hi, Rajan. Hi, Rajan. Hi, Rajan. Hi, pretty cool. You and mommy matching. Say period twinsies. So yes, I give this service, well, I give this company a 10 out of 10. I like it. Um, the only problem I had when I was trying to unzip in hers, I was having a difficult time unzipping in hers. But other than that, they're cute, they're comfortable. And yeah, I'm gonna link them down below, baby. Black owned business too. I believe it's a black owned business. I believe so. So yeah. Don't think think, don't think think, don't think think, hey. This is Nappy Hit. Girl, 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 I'm not doing my shot yet. Like, what the? What the? What's, what's going on? I'm gonna ice cube in that drink. It's not even cold. All right, guys, I am now uploading a video to my computer. Then I upload my video to YouTube. 
So, my body's sore and I danced my heart out. I'm ready to go to bed. I'm about to wipe this makeup off, baby. Good night. Mwah. Love y'all. See y'all tomorrow. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir performing all the Christmas songs that we love. Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love. And then while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire.